Okay, guys, now it's time for me to rank the Star Wars movies from worst to first. Coming in at number nine is The Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace is my least favorite Star Wars film. When it came out in theaters the first time, I loved this movie. But over the years, it just has not aged well. To me, the first half of this movie, it's so dreadful to get through. But once they get off tattooing, once they get on Coruscant, and we actually establish, you know, the plot of Palpatine trying to become Chancellor, is really good. But unfortunately, the first half of that movie is just very, very hard to get through. Coming to number eight, Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is personally one of my favorite Star Wars movies. I love everything from the arena point on, everything to do with Anakin and Padme, I personally like. I know a lot of people frown upon that, they find it really cheesy, but I personally like it. Some of the bad CGI and some of the clunky dialogue really kind of makes this movie not as good as it could have been, so I have no choice but to rank it very much lower than the other films. Coming in at number seven, is Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is a film I absolutely loved as a kid. As a kid, it was hands down my favorite Star Wars movie, but over the years, things has changed. Even though I really like the confrontation between Luke and Vader at the end, I like the Emperor, I like the space battle, Return of the Jedi had a lot of good things, but unfortunately, they have the Ewoks. So yeah. Coming in at number six is Revenge of the Sith, the best film out of the prequels and overall pretty solid Star Wars movie in general. I really enjoy Revenge of the Sith. I like the end battles with both Palpatine and Yoda and Anakin versus Obi-Wan and all the hype that we were led to get in the first two prequels pays off in this movie and I really enjoy it. It's a fantastic movie. Some of the CGI again really not that good. You see like Commander Cody's head flow over his clone body. It just looks really bad but as a movie in general even though it has some flaws i really do like revenge of the sith coming in at number five is rogue one rogue one is a great great movie great well put together movie great script great character development the ending will break your heart each and every time you watch it i like the fact that it is basically this rogue team trying to to steal these death star plans and they all die in order to give hope to the rebellion. A fantastic story. I love this movie so much. Coming in at number four is The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back was my least favorite movie as a child. Return of the Jedi was my favorite with A New Hope as, as second and then Empire was way, way behind because I felt Empire was too boring. But over the years, you realize how well Empire has put together the storytelling, the directing by Irvin Kirshner. Just everything about Empire Strikes Back is fantastic. The Battle of Hoth is really, really great. The chemistry between Leia and Han is fantastic. Luke Skywalker confronting Darth Vader and finding out that he is Luke's father. It was just a great reveal. Fantastic. I love that movie so much. Coming in at number three is The Last Jedi. A lot of people might be giving me shit right now because I put Last Jedi over Empire Strikes Back. And to be honest with you, I bounced back and forth on this a couple times. At some point, Empire was at number three and Last Jedi was at number four. And Last Jedi was like number five at one point. But the more I see The Last Jedi, the higher it goes up on my list. To me, there's, there's way more moments for me in The Last Jedi that I much rather either watch than Empire Strikes Back. Both films are great. And maybe by the time Han Solo comes out, Empire might overthrow Last Jedi again. But right now, Last Jedi is at number three. I thought it was a great movie. I loved it. And I, I enjoy keep going back and learning more things about the movie. Just a fantastic movie. Coming at number two is The Force Awakens. Many people want to call this movie a copy and paste of A New Hope. It is so much more than that. This movie is so much more than just a copy clone of A New Hope. There's new characters that's introducing. You have the first lead black character in a Star Wars film. I don't count Billy D. Williams because Finn is more in the front and center than Billy D. Williams was as Lando. We have Daisy Ridley, the first female-led character in Star Wars. It, it just There's so much about this movie. It's so much more than a copy and paste. And when Rey calls that lightsaber into her hand at the end of the movie, it gives me chills. Even now, I love everything about this movie. I like the fight between her and Kylo. I like the relationship between Rey and Han Solo. I like the... 
the Millennium Falcon chase at the beginning of the movie on Jakku. There's so many things about this movie that I love, and for people to automatically dismiss it and just say it's a copycat of A New Hope just really upsets me because there's so much more than that. And coming in at number one, the reigning champion, episode four, A New Hope, fantastic movie, even today, still my favorite. When we're talking about moments in a movie that I get excited, A New Hope is filled with moments. Every time Obi-Wan talks about the past, whether it be the Clone War or how he was once a Jedi Knight, the same as Luke's father, it's just a fantastic setup. It makes you ask questions of what's going on in this universe. What happened in the past? What's gonna happen in the future? The trench run at the end of this movie with this Death Star and how the Millennium Falcon just swoops in at the last moment and Luke fires the missiles and is able to trigger the destruction of the Death Star. There's so many things in this movie where if you put in a top five or ten moments in Star Wars, a lot of those moments are going to come from New Hope because there's so many great moments in this movie. And still today, it's a movie that I can put on and get the same enjoyment that I did 20, 25 30 years ago when I seen this movie for the first time. A New Hope is fantastic. Still my favorite Star Wars movie today. So that is my ranking of the Star Wars movies from worst to first. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your rankings in the comment section below. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also, if you want to, I have a Patreon page. You guys can go check out the link in the description below. And until next time, guys, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.